At long last, it's finally time for me to play Duke Nukem Forever, the final boss of the terrible 7th gen FPS genre. Oh hell, this game's gonna suck. Press right trigger to piss into the toilet. This is truly the next generation of gaming. First, we draw an S. Then we draw a more different S. The aiming for the marker is not very good, which sets a precedent for the rest of the game. Why is my television right there, but the sofa's over here? It's not even directly in front of it. I need to fire my interior decorator. This is the time I caught a shark. This is the time I went to space. This is the time I lost all my money on Wall Street bets. This game is really boring and sucks so far. Oh my god. Hey everybody, Caffeine Man here. I got a new review for you today of the new Crack Cola. So let's taste it out. Mm, you are getting a bit of a medium to high flavor profile in this drink. Ooh, fists. Finally, someone I can murder. Wow, it's like I'm playing a shooter or something. This is a really good uh, point and click adventure game so far. At some point, I'd like to have a gun though. Might be kind of cool. Duke Nukem is so strong, he can spin a chair around in like four or five swipes. Key card required. Oh, hell. Key, key card. card. Uh, key cards. Oh, Video games key card. had key cards in them before. <laughs> they used to have those. Remember that, guys? Fortunately, we've replaced key card with spam A to open the door gameplay. I think you all agree that's much, much worse. You really know how to turn a girl on. This is almost as funny as the legend of Neil. <laughs> Uh-oh, now I'm a tiny guy. Can my small bullet still shatter the ancient Greek vase? No, this game sucks. I road killed the alien in an RC car, that's crazy. That shouldn't have enough mass to kill him, but it did. Video game logic. Welcome to Penny Arcade, issue 243. Wait, so any size vehicle hitting any size guy kills him in one hit? What if I hit Godzilla with a golf cart? Would that still kill him? Uh, my GTA rolls, yes it would. Huh, oh, that's so wacky. That's how video games have the physics that are strange. What's your favorite webcomic that is no longer accessible because Photo Bucket went down 10 years ago? Let me know in the comments. Pork chop sandwiches. Dude, Duke Nukem said pork chop sandwiches. Remember that one? Yeah, we got your green power armor over here and ready to go. Power armor is for pussies. Look guys, I made fun of Halo. Master Chief sucks. He can only carry two weapons at a time. Oh wait, if only they would have waited a few more years for Halo 5 to come out, then making fun of Halo would have been in fashion. You know, I was kind of trashing on the parts with no gunplay or was just walking around the environment, but actually that was more fun. The combat sucks. I want to go back to the Stanley Parable gameplay. This game really goes downhill after it goes downhill. Can you shoot the water core? Probably. And nothing happened. Good. Good to see Killzone 1 is better than this game. Duke Nukem's Titty City. Look away, YouTube. Look away. You're not allowed to see this part. There'll be a lap dance. And cake. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. This is the first ever game where you can microwave your own popcorn. Wait for two minutes and 30 seconds real time as the popcorn spins slowly and pops. Stop me if you've heard this one before. A man holding a bag of unmicrowaved popcorn steps out onto the catwalk in a strip club. How's it going, everybody? Hello, yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever. More like it took him forever to make the game. <laughs> Ooh, body massage. Stop referencing G.I. Joe PSA. That doesn't count as jokes. Well, the strip club was fun, but back to parking lot gameplay. Wow, I guess this is why most games only show Las Vegas at night. Because during the day, it has bland and boring graphics. A great place to set my entire game. You know, I can't really tell if Randy Pitchford was involved in the creation of this game or not. It doesn't really have any of his uh, telltale signs, though. I have cards, and I'm a, and I'm a magician, and um, just kind of like I want you to. Just, it doesn't actually matter what card you're gonna pick. Let's show everybody. <laughs> Selfie. This is what Danny's signature looks like. <laughs> this is a. I'm a magician, you guys. Can you open it? Count into my hands. Forty-seven cards. <laughs> you did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. Three, four, five, 45, 46, stop! Take that card, don't look at it, hold it against your chest. That is the 47th card, give me the rest of these. Give me the rest of these. She has the 47th card, you guys. Did you look? Did you look?
A miracle, you guys! A miracle! Some people are sad E3 is dead because there will be no more cringe Microsoft press conferences, but I'm mad because Randy Pitchford won't do any more magic tricks. One good thing about this game is it has individually labeled soda machines. That's it. That's the one good thing. Ugh, rats in the burger joint. Rats, rats, we're the rats. We pray at night, we stuck at night. We're the rats. Can I make the rats walk into the mousetrap and they die? That'd make the game pretty good. Ooh, this game's good. All the reviews say my new game didn't cut the mustard. They say Gearbox is years behind the rest of the industry, and at this point, they probably won't catch up. Randy Pitchford, Mayo, never make a game again. Dr. Science Man, what were you working on? Oh boy, a shrink ray. Shrink him down. It didn't work on him? Come on. I shrink a crate? The crate doesn't shrink either? What's the point of this thing? Shrink the spaceship. The spaceship doesn't shrink either? Does it really only shrink the guys? Yes, it only shrinks the guys. Awesome. I'm free. I'm free. Oh, no, I'm not free. <laughs> it's a turret section. It's the opposite of freedom. Yeah, baby. Chopper Gunner. Exploring random planets in Mass Effect 1 be like, how does A, the car, not have a gun? And B, there's no... Put a guitar riff in the background at least. Jeez. Some people point to the death of Harambe as a decline of civilization, but I think it was the release of Duke Nukem Forever. I think all the evidence leads here to this game. What year was the worst year of your life? Let me know in the comments. How would he manually have to unscrew it? Not my idea of a good screw. Oh, for that joke. Lift the door slowly by pressing the up button, but be careful not to let go or else it'll stop. This is what real gaming looks like. Suck it, Kotaku. Wait a minute, I can drive a forklift in this game? I take it back. This game is the best game ever made. Hit Y to lift, hit A to lower. Use the gas for fast and the brake for slower. I work in an Amazon warehouse. This is gonna fuck up my hair. Is that cause it's a water level? Yay. Such great gameplay. Swim forward slowly, but oh no, you might not make it to the bubbles that are strategically placed, so you definitely will make it to them. Oh ho ho. This game is the worst game of all time, but it's the only game where you can pilot a scissor lift and go up and down. This thing sucks. Shut up, Duke Nukem. Did the air vent just fall on me and trap me inside of it? Is that really what just happened? That's unbelievable. Shit's going south fast. Duke Nukem Forever, more like this campaign goes on forever. When is it gonna end? Final battle. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's get this game over with. This is the Emperor of the Aliens? This is one of these guys again? Sorry, Cycloid Emperor. Even Dolman has a better final boss than you. Hit X to piss in eye hole. What a great ending for the game. Hold on, Duke, we're getting out of here. Why can't you just let me die? Oh, hell. Looks like Duke Nukem finally got nuked by a nuclear bomb. Is that really the end of the game is Duke Nukem's helicopter gets blown up by a bomb? Oh no, the ending of the game is Modern Warfare parody. Look, get it? Because the satellite of Modern Warfare cutscenes looks like this. It bears a resemblance. So I played the entire thing, start to finish. And after playing the whole campaign, I gotta say, and this, this might be a bit of a controversial take, but actually, Duke Nukem Forever is not very good. <laughs>